ANC proposes state of disaster over load shedding. And Julius Malema is doing what he does best. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the News in 5. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. All right, once again, I just want to thank all of you that keep coming back and watching these shows, sharing and liking the videos. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for the support. And if you're new to this channel, well, consider becoming part of the fam and subscribing. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get into it. ANC proposes state of disaster to address power cuts. But here's the important part. Party hopes declaration will free up funds for state to ease energy crisis. Right. Listen, to be fair, I don't even want to go through this article because I think we all know what's going to happen if a state of disaster is declared for load shedding. But anyway, here's a look at what he was saying at some ANC thing. There was talk about declaration of a national state of disaster like what we did when we faced COVID-19 and this broad agreement that we should move in that direction. Now, why would they declare a state of disaster, you may ask, for load shedding? Well, this would then free up funds for government to roll out some of its plans to fix the energy crisis, which has plunged the country into darkness on most days. And there you have it. Follow the money. Need I refresh your memories of all the looting that happened during lockdown? I have said this time and time again, and I will continue to say it. We are witnessing the greatest heist in South African history, and it's all being done by the ANC. And I mean, those of you that think that this might work, I mean, think about it for a second. Cyril Ramaphosa himself has been saying he's going to fix load shedding since 2015. Now that he does a state of disaster and has access to all those funds, do you really think they're going to fix it? I highly doubt it. So the little conspiracy theorist in me is going, maybe the ANC was planning this for a very long time. Maybe the ANC wanted this to happen so that they could swoop in as the heroes. So they manufacture their own problem and then come in to fix the problem and stay in power. And this article doesn't really go into detail about what this state of disaster would look like in this instance. Who knows if lockdowns would come back? Who knows if some weird rules or regulations would be made like banning of some cigarettes for whatever reason or banning of chicken because it's taking up too much electricity. I don't know what this would look like. All I know is it's not gonna be good for South Africa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and in this story, uh, EFF leader Julius Malema says a national shutdown will take place on 20th of March over the power crisis and to call for the resignation of Cyril Ramaphosa. Okay, so two things. Number one, um, let's have a look at what he exactly says. National shutdown 20 March. We don't apply for nothing. We can't apply for that which is given to us by the Constitution. It is our constitutional right to protest, and we shall protest on the 20th of March. We don't want to see a single drug movie. We don't want to see a single train movie. We don't want to see a single bus movie, unless it's taking people to the picket lines. Okay, so here's my problem with this. And besides the fact that this might be illegal, what he's asking for, you're asking for the entire country to just shut down for a day. That's equivalent to just having no electricity for an entire day because if you shut down everything, the economy is going to, well, not survive. Okay, I might be a little bit overdramatic, but still, I really hope that nobody listens to him, but let's face it, it wouldn't be the first time that EFF has caused havoc in South Africa. And secondly, while it pains me to say this, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I actually do agree with Julius Malema on the point that Cyril Ramaphosa should resign. I know this is shocking. It's like the second time I've agreed with Julius Malema. But let's face it, Cyril Ramaphosa should resign. Cyril Ramaphosa has done nothing in his presidency to make South African lives even better. If anything, South Africa has gotten worse during his presidency. So on that 
point. I do agree with Julius. But on everything else, I disagree, and I think Julius is a very dangerous man. We'll see whether Julius can muster up enough people to cause a national shutdown. I'll keep a close eye on this story as we get closer to the 20th of March. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy these videos. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all this. What do you think about the possible state of disaster for load shedding? And what do you think about Julius Malema calling for a national shutdown on the 20th of March? Once again, thanks again for subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. You guys are awesome. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.